guys, this SD, we got the uh, tower set up. I'll kind of walk you through what we did here. I might need to have the cameraman get a little closer here. Anyway, we we set up a concrete base that's level with where the winch is going to be at. And uh, this is a 24 by 24 box. We got rebar, it's hammered down in the ground, it's interwoven in two spots. It's pretty stout down there, it's down four feet. And we set the gin pole. This is the gin pole right here that goes up 17 feet. The tower is 34 feet. From my, all the research and stuff I've done, usually they say the gin pole is supposed to be half the distance of your tower, which gives you a enough leverage to use it and tilt your uh, tower up. We took a piece of quarter inch stock and uh, my nephew Stephen welded it on there, but it was 24 by 24 and we cut it and put a triangle piece in here, lined everything up and he did welding on both sides and also the uh, gin pole is, is welded to this pipe. We've got a one inch uh, uh, class 8 bolt going through there with some washers that help keep the uh, uh, pole and stuff roughly centered inside. This mount is out of a uh, half inch uh, stock. This all thread goes down through half inch all thread and it's also welded to the rebar and everything came out we made a template and then actually used this mount down there as everything was curing up and it came out perfectly level. I mean it was, can't ask for anything better than that. Now, one thing we did to put a little bit more strength into it, besides just relying on this uh, small gusset down here uh, to take all the weight of this strain of this lifting it up and down, we put a gusset up on top. That gusset is, is 17, 17 feet also. If you come down here, I'll show you. I fabricated a few little things here that made the uh, attachment of this in there easy. I made a piece of three and a half pipe that goes over this three inch pipe and I uh, took some quarter inch stock and cut a 45 on it and did uh, rounded it off just like this on this piece and this other piece here I took another piece of three inch pipe and if you look over here inside I notched into the side of it on both this side and this side and put this piece inside there and welded it in here and on the inside and this slides over the pipe and we welded that in place and did the same thing up on top and all you do is this piece will still pivot right and we can line these up we put a, a speed square in here made a perfect 45 when we had the measurement just right it's a perfect 45 up on top but this could slide in and out we can adjust it until we uh, got the, the spots set just right and then we went ahead and welded it in place in two spots there so this is not bad. fabricated uh, uh, tower mounts for your guy wires and uh, again that's three inch pipe we shaved it down and when you put bolts on both sides it compresses and grabs a hold of the pipe and it's not moving the top one we did the same thing but I went ahead and welded that in place this one's actually welded in place so we just about got this set up we're going to start working on the guy wires here in a bit might even go ahead and try to raise it up, but uh, a lot of people wanted to see this. I've never seen a uh, tower set up like this. Uh, I just, like I say, I didn't want to trust the small gusset down there to hold up all the weight, and we went kind of overkill. This was fun getting it up here. It was fun getting the gin pole on there, but everything is welded in place and should be pretty solid. <laughs> 